for, for Coach Kelly, this has been a record amount of freshmen that he's played. So from a confidence standpoint, for you and the other freshmen, when you guys are getting so much playing time and so many crucial situations, how much more does that add to your confidence and how do you guys kind of react to when you see so many freshmen on the field? Uh, I think, you know, our confidence is growing each day. Um, you know, at first we were definitely uh, a bit nervous, but now you know, when we step on the field, we feel natural and uh, it's something that we've all worked for and we're building off of each other and, you know, I'm building off Devon, he's building off me and I think that's a special thing. When, when you get recruited, you know, recruits like, all right, I'm going to play. But when you, you finally get that chance to play, how much more satisfying is it, um, you know, when that coach is like, we want you to be a crucial part of this team in, the, in your living room, and then all of a sudden you're, you're on the field for another day? <laughs> well, it was a great feeling. Uh, it was a lot of work, uh, you know, with the, the defense uh, and uh, the competition we're playing and everything that Notre Dame embodies. It's a lot of work, and uh, it's definitely it's an amazing feeling to actually be playing uh, in this spot. You said that you grew up as a Notre Dame fan. What gave you that allegiance? Was it in your family or what ties did you have, if uh, any, to becoming a Notre Dame fan? Uh, my dad's originally from Memphis and he moved to Chicago uh, You know, when he right after college and so when he came here he realized everybody was a Notre Dame fan. Uh, and so obviously he taught me that, took me to my first game when I was like seven uh, against Michigan and uh, I guess the rest is history from there. <laughs> Julie, what's the challenge bouncing between nickel and the perimeters, especially as a freshman? I know every everyone I've talked to about the nickel from the past, Cole Luke, Sean Crawford, the nickel is the toughest position for them to learn. It definitely is tough. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to perfect my nickel technique, but um, <clears throat> it's just you know the technique perspective. Uh, so you have more width uh, when you're at nickel. You can go both ways. When you're at corner, it's more one-sided, uh, depending on how they align. And so that's definitely something you need to gain perspective of, and it's just reps you know, every day and just getting better and better. Have they talked to you about nickel prior to coming in? Yes. Uh, you know, we got our playbooks um, late in spring. They told me to really work at nickel, you know, Sam, uh, and obviously corner. And so I just try to learn as much as I can about both. Did you get, was there any talk about safety? Just, I'm just asked because so many corners and safeties came in together. You figured some people are going to have to move around from their natural position. Uh, not so much for me. Uh, it was mostly nickel and a corner. Have you guys talked at all about possibly playing in a hurricane this weekend? <laughs> we haven't. We know the conditions that are predicted for this uh, weekend. We're just ready. I know the offense is getting ready with like the wet ball drills. And, you know, this condition you know, really helps DBs. And, you know, we're going to make some plays. <laughs> How does it help DBs? Uh, I mean, receivers drop more balls in the rain, and the cuts aren't as crisp. And so we're going to be taking advantage of that, and we're going to stop the run, and, you know, that's our goal.